we were always going running back home to go and beg our parents for food. Oh. You know, so our parents advised her to talk to me to go back and look for a job that, you know, I've been doing this thing since 2006. You know, so it was quite crazy for us. And so she kept, she said she should just allow me to do my stuff. So she kept supporting me. You know, so um, we practically ran to my parents for, for more than three years or four years, five years. We kept running back to for food. We were married, but we couldn't, you know. And I was working, but how much could sustain us as a stand-up comedian? Okay, tell me one sweet memory that lives rent-free in your head. Um, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Okay. But um, the one I can't forget is um, the one I always talk about is um, you know whenever I remember when my wife you know woke me up one day in the night. Mm -hmm. And she was crying. I'm like, ah, why are you crying? So man, so all your sleepless nights has finally paid us. Wow. So that that's up, you know, you know, I get emotional when I say this. So it breaks me because I know how we what we've been through. You know. Mm -hmm. So there was this point in, in our life, in our career where they said um comedy was not a job, MC was not a job. So they gave me a, um they gave me a teaching job to be a teacher. You know, we were always going running back home to go and beg our parents for food. Oh. You know, so our parents advised her to talk to me to go back and look for a job that, you know, I've been doing this thing since 2006. You know, so it was quite crazy for us. And so she kept, she said she should just allow me to do my stuff. So she kept supporting me. You know, so um, we practically ran to my parents for, for more than three years or four years, five years. We kept running back to for food. We were married, but we couldn't, you know. And I was working, but how much could sustain us as a stand-up comedian? So, but I mean, today we live a life where we can afford everything we want. So, the story is different now. Yeah. So, many time I remember when she woke up that night and just tapped me, I'm like, "Is this us? Is this us?" And we bought our parent cars, built houses for them, and all of that. So, it is a red frame in my head, though. Oh, sure. Yeah. Hey, sorry, I don't know. Have I, did I mess your set up? No, no, no. Ah, no thank this you. Is, this is. Yeah. You're almost going to make me cry. Mm. But then, it's the interesting part is today the story is different. Mm -hmm. Very different. Yeah. And that is one reason why we always love and appreciate our Lolo. Yeah. Who was there even when there was nothing, and thank God she's here to, till today. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I'm so emotional right now. Uh, thank you. Uh, okay, so thank you so much for being with us on the set. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. We hope to see you more and more and more. I'll be coming here more as long as you pay me. <laughs> <laughs> how much? How much do you want? I have money. I've made it. I know. Hey. Just pay me. How much, how much do you want? Don't worry. Just pay me. Okay, I should just pay you mm -hmm. anything. Mm -hmm. So if I give you like 1K. I'll come. You'll call. Mm -hmm. Even if it's Naira. Mm -hmm. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me do the transfer. All right. Let me let me do the transfer. No, no, I'm because I know you. You, you. you are like Satan. You could like give you with left hand, could with right hand. So <laughs> I ain't gonna give you the space. But it was nice having you guys around. And um, oh, yeah. a big shout out to um, July First Studios. You guys have been amazing. Um, the support was massive. I mean, you know, massive, massive. There was no prayer and discussion. You know, you guys just jumped into the event and took over the event 100. I mean, imagine me coming here, no event plan, I know nothing. You know, but that's why I keep saying I'm a special child. Yeah, so special. Because uh, God just has a way of making things work for me. Yeah. I, I no contact, I didn't call him. You know, yeah, you see, he just called me for his birthday if I can't come around. I said, no, I'm coming the next day. You know, before, you know, they took over the event and, you know, made it big and then it now became a tour. From the first day, the second day, it has been eventful, yeah. events packed. And so I strongly recommend July 1st studio. Mm -hmm. For um, for partnership for different activities, um, yeah, your your work ethics is highly commendable, and um, I still want to be part of you guys again and again and again. I want to so be part I'm of you too. <laughs> <laughs> so I won't call away July first studio anytime you need me. Trust me, I always come for you. I'll oh. come through. I'll come through. I'll make nothing. <laughs> like you want to sing. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. And you. we wish you safe travels you. on your trip back to Lagos. Thank and you. then our warm regards to our Lolo, one and only Lolo. Want to see her next time you're coming, please. Ah, she so <laughs> has to be coming with all the babies here. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah.
This music is dedicated to local nation family. MC Mbakara, Chief Ayaya, Onun Oni One, the Executive President of Local Nation Family, and his dear wife, Lolo Mbakara. Winning for one is winning for all. K-O-K-O-L-E-T, them call me Gogolet. MC Mbakara, congratulations. Lolo Mbakara, congratulations. Local Nation team, congratulations. Local Nation man, congratulations. You can see who we have here. The one and only Aya mm. Kanu, a.k.a. MC Mbakara. The man with the whole vibe. That's me. MC Mbaka, how are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing fine. I'm enjoying Port Harcourt. Mm. I, I mean, I always say that Port Harcourt is my second home. Mm -hmm. And so, whenever I'm in Port Harcourt, I feel relaxed. I feel, I just feel like I'm in Lagos or Calabar. Yeah. Because Port Harcourt got the vibes. Yeah, it's about the vibes. Yeah, they do. I mean, you can't even compare the vibes oh, to Oh, you Lagos. bring the vibes to us. Yeah, the vibes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. I'm the one-man party. I feel even day alone. I'm always a happy child. Oh, wow. Yeah. So am I supposed to feel jealous or happy that you're looking good or better than I'm looking right now? Why would you do that? How? Why you want, would you do that? You want Jesus. Why would you do that? <laughs> it's not fair. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for the compliment. Yeah. yeah. So uh, let's start by getting to know what, what inspired the name Mbakara. Oh, okay. So Mbakara is... Um, um, and it be your name, okay. you know, so um, it's also, and if the effect people also use Makara, but that just is Makara, so there's no B, okay. but the both uh, mean the same thing, um, it means Oyibo, white person. Oyibo, white person. Yeah, so I grew up in the village um, back then, so um, uh, we used to be the fortunate people then, so we were the only one that had television back then in the village and so everybody used to come watch TV in our house. Okay. And so we um, um I, I tried to imitate these white kids. Then there was not too much of Nigerian films. Okay. So anytime I tried to imitate the kids and do shibili, 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 everybody in the whole village would be shouting Bakara and Bakara. Okay, okay, okay. So they were calling me so now people get confused like Oyibo, uh, you are not fair. Mm. Uh, why the Oyibo? So it was because of that people started calling me Bakara. And then my mom always called me Bakara. So as per uh, her white guy, her white son, and her. So okay. anytime, just like the black American do. Okay. So people gather me, I'll just be doing shimuri, shimuri. And they do that to everybody, the whole village, they gather me. I buy them for serious trouble. So I am. And now, while in school, I grew up then. My mom died in 2001. Oh, sorry about so, that. So, yeah. And then, uh, when I said entertainment, I just feel like to immortalize my mom. Okay. So, I was like, okay, my, the pet name my mom used to call me. So, when they were saying, what's your stage name? I just said Mbakara. Okay. Yeah, and so that's how Mbakara came on. Oh, so Mbakara didn't just start. Mbakara was there even as a child. Yeah, yeah, I think that's, yeah. Mbakara okay. is very old. And as a then, you didn't even have the intention of being a comedian, right? I've always had an intention of being, um, I started performing, I think at age five or six or so. Are you or four, Yeah, about that, yeah. I started performing. This same Bakara. Okay. Um, maybe I could send you the features. Okay. Uh, this same Bakara, yeah, yeah, I started holding the mic at that time. So every closing ceremony in um, Anoji School then, mm -hmm. they always give me time to perform. Mm -hmm. Then then I was also the best in acting. So I'm almost, I'm a jack, but a master of plenty. Ah. So I do almost everything. Okay. You get, so in school, I used to be like the best dancer. I used to be the best uh, drama person. I used to be um, like I was everything. I could uh, the best athlete. Everything. Even in secondary school, I was playing football, playing basketball, playing tennis. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so what are you sing also? That's the only thing I don't do. But, okay. I can, but I can sing. I, I can make you laugh with singing. Okay. Yeah, so I can sing for. Even now, I don't really dance like before. Then I dance for comic relief. Like if I dance, you must laugh. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. I just wish I could ask you to dance, but no. No, let me, let me respect my children. <laughs> so you don't make us laugh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's good to know. Mm. So when did you, when did you start having fear? Did you at any point have fear of what you're doing? Did I, do I have, did I, did I, did I? Um, Was there any time you had a fear like, am I sure this is going to work out for me? Yeah, a lot of people discouraged me. A lot of people got tired of me at some point, okay. you know. At some point, I was doing medicine. I was studying medicine. I had to quit medicine for this. Oh. You know, so I always knew. I always knew I, I, I'm going to get it. 
Yeah. I, I knew that it was in the back of my hands. I knew I would get here by the time. Okay. You know, but again, if you see me, I I do what I do out of love and mm. passion. I, I I can die for this craft. So mm. my wife will always say, don't mind MCO, uh, MC loves his job more than me. You know, okay. I'm, I can die for this craft. Like, I loved, I love um, the entertainment business so much. Mm. That's one thing you call me and I don't think. Okay. So sometimes I do it not because of gains. I just do it because that keeps me alive. This is what I love doing. Mm. So every single gathering, you see me trying to entertain. I yeah. always want to entertain. Whether there's camera, whether there's no camera, I just love entertaining people. Mm. And so that's any way I see people, I always you know. Me and the go people, other celebrities, they Wait for fans. Me and the go meet them. Yeah, yeah obviously, uh, yeah. obviously. So when you're not disturbing our uh, Lolo, like we all know, <laughs> and when you're not trying to create the content, when you're not being a father, what do you do with that time? So that's the point. There's almost no time like that. There's almost no time. So almost all the time you... I'm doing something. Okay. It's either I'm doing for myself or I'm doing for somebody. So if I'm not creating content, I'm not um, disturbing Lola, I'm not a father, then I'm teaching. Okay. So but the best is, apart from that, I could just club dance. And that's after the whole work every day. The next place you just see me, the next thing you can see me do is maybe just dance and party. Oh, okay. yeah. great. So I barely don't have time for gossiping. <laughs> yeah, you should. You should. So there's this there's this um, comedy I watched, this prank you did on uh, our Lolo, where that was years back. Where yeah, that's what actually blew us up. Okay, and I, I always had this intention of asking you anytime I get to see you. Was that actually a prank? Mm -hmm. That was a real prank. So why? <laughs> how do you think about trying to put up something like that? Okay, so I'm a crazy thinker. I do a lot of stuff. If you check some of my skits, so sometimes you check uh, my storyline today. I, Today I went to um, film with chicken. I went to poetry. Okay. And I just said, make some noise. They all started shouting. And that looked like they were ah, hearing me. Okay. So, but that's something you would never ever think of. Yeah. You can't, so it, people always say, how do you think of this stuff here? Yeah. So I'm a crazy thinker. Things just comes and, you know, I put them up. And me, like I said, I don't validate. I don't want for anybody to validate what I do. Anything that comes to my mind, I just shoot it and put it out there. So for that Lolo's um, stuff, what even uh, the shocking part is, that morning before the prank, we had issues. Oh. So that really gave energy into the prank because she, she was already vexing. Okay. So now with the prank, we gave with that. So everything was just very rough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, that prank, if that prank did not end, uh, if it didn't end the way it ended, I would have run into serious problems. Hmm. Because, because they, the way she dragged that girl through. That went bar is worth over 10 million as a then. Okay. And that time, we never started to see better bread. You know, wow. so she pushed the girl and hit the bar. The thing just shake, you know, for the then myself for pay for for pay my life. <laughs> is that kind of wine rack? You know, not this one. This one is for where they sell. You know, two side. It almost fell down, but I mean, we thank God it, it came out well, and um, it blew us or blew everything about us. They showed it on TVC African Magic, like okay. it was the topic of discussion which Jumbo posted. In fact, that's how every celebrity knew. Yeah. Yeah. Because that was that was like the first time I got to, yeah. and I, yeah. I really loved Lolo's reaction. Let yeah. me, let me I, I can't even lie. Yeah. The way she pulled the wig, um, well, you can't even joke with that. Lolo, uh, <laughs> you uh, God, if they beat me for the house. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. Okay. In our house, I'm the, I'm the woman, is the man. She's the man, huh? <laughs> That's good. Okay, now, you're going to tell me three things, and um, you tell me two lies and one truth. Okay, two lies. One truth. <laughs> okay. Hey, God. <laughs> one truth. And this one, the country out there. Uh, but I didn't even do that thing. Okay, one lie, one lie. Mm, uh, tell me one lie. I don't drink alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. I don't drink alcohol. Okay. And I've never stayed out late in my life. <laughs> mm hmm. And then sure. two lies, and one truth, one truth, one truth, one truth. I'm a pastor. Mm. That's a bit of truth, you don't know. You're a pastor. Yeah. People barely know you're a pastor. Yeah. But a lot of people know. Yeah, but a lot of people don't know either. Uh, because, um, so, it's, I'm not just a pastor, I'm a prophetic unction, prophetic grace. Ah, so, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, but, um, I, I worship God with my family and mm. friends, people who can come, you know. So it's not in, um, for us, it's not business. Okay. Uh, so I don't need people to know. Mm. Yeah. But 
I'm the pastor of my house and my estate. Coming all the way 100, from 100, ah. 100. I love when I'm going to die. Ah. Probably for Taco Kim. Mm. 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 When are you then going back? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. You're leaving us here. I have to go and walk again. I have to go and walk hard again so you guys will like me the more. Exactly. Before she finish going to enter. When you're coming back, what will you bring for us? The vibe again. 100. 100. Energy God. 100. 100. <laughs> okay, tell me one sweet memory that lives rent free in your head. Um, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Okay. But um, the one I can't forget is... Um, the one I always talk about is, um, you know, whenever I remember when my wife, you know, woke me up one day in the night mm -hmm. and she was crying, I'm like, oh, why are you crying? So, man, so all your sleepless nights has finally paid us. Wow. So that, that's all, you know, you know, I get emotional when I say this. So it breaks me because I know how we, what we've been through, you know. Mm -hmm. So there was this point in, in our life, in our career, where they said, um, Comedy was not a job, MC was not a job, so they gave me a, um, they gave me a teaching job to be a teacher. Mm. You know, we were always going running back home to go and beg our parents for food. Oh. You know, so our parents advised her to talk to me to go back and look for a job that, you know, I've been doing this thing since 2006. You know, so it was quite crazy for us. And so she kept, she said they should just allow me to do my stuff, so she kept supporting me. You know, so um, we practically ran to my parents for, for more than three years or four years, five years. We kept running back to for food. We were married, but we couldn't, you know. And I was working, but how much could sustain us as a stand-up comedian? So, but I mean, today we live a life where we can afford everything we want. So, the story is different now. Yeah. So, when the time I remembered when she woke up that night and just tapped me, I'm like, is this us? Is this us? And we bought our parent cars, built houses for them and all of that. So it is a rent frame in my head though. Oh, sure. Yeah. Hey, sorry, I don't know. Have I, did I mess your set up? No, no, ah, no, no. Thank this you. is this is Yeah. You're almost gonna make me cry. Mm. But then it's the interesting part is today the story is different. Mm -hmm. Very different. Yeah. And that is one reason why we always love and appreciate our Lolo. Yeah. Who was there even when there was nothing and thank God she's here till today. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I'm so emotional right now. Yeah, thank you. Uh, <laughs> okay, so thank you so much for being with us on the set. Yeah. Thank you so much, we really appreciate it. We hope to see you more and more and more. Are we coming here more as long as you pay me? <laughs> <laughs> how much, how much do you want? I have money, I've made it. I know. Hey. Just pay me. How, you know much, how much do you want? Don't worry, just pay me. Okay, I should just pay you mm -hmm. anything. Mm -hmm. So if I give you like 1K. I'll come. You'll call? Mm -hmm. Even if it's Naira? Mm -hmm. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me do a transfer. Now. Let, me, let me do a transfer. No, no, I'm because I know you. You, you. you are like Satan. You could like give you with left hand, could like right hand. So <laughs> I'm going to give you that space. But it was nice having you guys around. And um, oh, yeah. a big shout out to um, July 1st Studios. You guys have been amazing. Um, the support was massive. I mean, you know, massive, massive. There was no prayer and discussion. You know, you guys just jumped into the event and took over the event 100. I mean, imagine me coming here, no event plan, I know nothing. You know, but that's why I keep saying I'm a special child. Yeah, so special. Because uh, God just has a way of making things work for me. Yeah. I, I no contact, I didn't call him. You know, yeah, you see, he just called me for his birthday if I can't come around. I said, no, I'm coming the next day. You know, before, you know. It took over the events and you know made it big and then it now became a tour from the first day the second day it has been eventful yeah. events packed and so i strongly recommend july 1st studio mm -hmm. for um for partnership for different activities um yeah your, your, your work ethics is highly commendable and um i still want to be part of you guys again and again and again i want so to be part I'm of one, you too <laughs> so i won't call away july 1st studio anytime you need me trust me i always come for you i'll, oh. come, through. I'll come through i'll make sing. <laughs> now you want to sing <laughs> thank you so much for being with us and you. we wish you safe travels thank you. on your trip back to lagos thank and you. then our warm regards to our lolo one and only Lolo. Want to see her next time you're coming, please. Ah, so we have to be coming with all the babies here. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah.